Hello YouTube and welcome to another review by Damien Lemaitre. Today we'll be looking at three Class O8 shunters of Thomas the Tank Engine, Diesel, Ari and Bert, as you may remember me saying at the end of the Hornby Edward review. One of the things we spoke about in the Hornby Edward review was that his lamp irons were upside down. However, thanks to Bill and Ben Fan 14, a follower on Twitter who I dedicated the Hornby Henry review to, um, I've realised that you can actually turn these uh, buff beams upside down, as you can see here, and uh, you can put all it takes is to push them out from underneath. So where the black bits are, so you push them out from underneath, and then put them in. As you can see, I've done one of them on a the Ed Edward, and I think it looks a lot better for that reason, really. Um, I'll do the other two another time, but I just wanted to show you that you can actually make them the right way around. Um, it's the same on the Hornby James model. So, going back to today's subject, as you can see, we have Diesel, Harry and Bert. Um, I've got Diesel brand new, once again from Jay's Chemist in uh, Els Barton. And uh, on the screen, you can see that I've put some graphics, and you can see what price I got them all for. Harry and Bert were both second hand. So to that, uh, first, we'll move on to the Hornby Diesel. Um, I don't think there's a huge deal to say about Diesel, really. Of course, he, he's, ma he's just painted black. And you can probably just about see there's all the details like the grills, the um, let's say, the, the, the boxes that he has on him, very much like his TV series model. Um, the face it is perfect. It's a very good representation of that evil diesel, uh, the evil diesel that upset every single engine on soda almost. Uh, this model of diesel was actually made in 2006 so yep yeah, good, good memory of mine there 2006 um the time i got him it was in 2012 back in uh, els barton where i got uh stepney from and a few other characters um, such as sir henry as well uh, i was actually in jay's chemist at els barton not long ago and they still have some models of diesel and they also had an mle um, Gordon, James, Percy, Thomas, Annie, um, a few of the trucks and that. Um, another thing that they had was this uh, little book, as you can see here. Um, so, so this was obviously 2010, so 65 years. Um, catalogue, it's got pretty much all the engines in there. The only one it hasn't got is uh, Bill and Ben, but I think they've been discontinued at this point. There's uh, all the engines there. Um, and then the next page you've got all the coaches. And, uh, yeah, so that was the catalogue. There is also a backman counterpart uh, for Diesel. I think the shape on the backman Diesel is a lot more accurate to his TV series model. But there's one thing that ruins it, which is the face. It looks far too nice. It makes Diesel look like a big softy. Um, and if they were going to, they could have at least, I think they could have at least chosen uh, one of his more evil CGI faces. That, um, so like his grumpy one to make him look a bit more evil. So I think these are a very good model. So now we'll move on to Harry and Bert. So once again, Harry and Bert are really good uh, models. Uh, one thing I, I, um, I noticed is that on a, this, this one's face, if you look carefully... If you look from left to right on his face, it is slightly wonky. Um, if you've got a one with a wonky face, it, again, it'd be good to hear from you. Maybe we're some of the unluckiest people to have received the ones with wonky faces. Who knows? Um, but on the other model, the face uh, isn't isn't at all wonky. I think it's fair to say it doesn't look at all wonky to me. Um, one thing that I, I think uh, could be improved on this model is that, um, again, the faces. Uh, the faces, I don't um, I like Splatter and Dodge's faces. Uh, Splatter and Dodge only appeared in uh, Thompson the Magic Railroad, and, it's, and there's a lot of, I don't know if they're rumours or not, that their models were later on you, um, used for Ar the Arian Burt TV series. And again, I've used Arian Burt's faces, and the models, um, so again, Arian Burt was supposed to be quite uh, evil deals. Um, I don't really think that these models say that. However, um, Harry and Bert have quite recently come out from Backman. Um, again, the shape of their models is very much like their TV series uh, counterparts. 
but the problem again it lies at the faces. The faces on the back models being too making them look far too nice, again far too soft. Whereas um Harry and Bert, as you know, do have a very more evil evil faces in the CGI series and I think it would have been a lot more better if they'd been uh, used again. Harry and Bert weren't aren't supposed to be very nice engines. They have tried to scrap Stephanie in their debut episode. Um, they've also played tricks on other engines. Now we move on to the uh, packaging. So as you can see, we've got uh, Ari inside his box here. Um, one thing that's very different about Ari's box compared to uh, some of the newer ones from 2006 is that there's um, and so it's, there's a bit a bit of plastic and it comes with a card inside. It says his name on it. So yeah, so it's a bit different. Again, it's um, it's really well packaged, uh, nice and secure, and it comes with, it comes with instructions. Um, so Bert's box, uh, Bert's not inside it at the minute. But again, uh, yeah, so he's got a bit of see through and comes with a card, comes with the instructions. Again, it keeps them really well packaged. Now we move on to uh, Diesel's box. Um, Diesel's box actually has a ye yellow sticker on the end. It doesn't have anything see through, just a yellow sticker. Again, with his, na uh, his name on. So you've got Devious Diesel and then his uh, code number. You can see, yep. So that's Diesel's box. Again, I think all the boxes are really good. It uh, keeps them well packaged. Um, the colour on Arian, but on the Hornby Arian, but isn't quite right either. Um, they're more of a, they're, they look more of a bottle green really. You might not be able to tell as well as me. They're, they're more of a bottle green, whereas they're more of a car, they are khaki green in the um, television series. So here we have the um, Ursula and Wood models of uh, Ari and Bert. Uh, the one way that we were supposed to be able to tell the two twins apart is that Bert has more stubble than uh, Ari. So you can say there's Bert stubble there, and uh, again Bert. You can just about see that he's got some black dots on his face, which again stubble. And then of course, so we've got Ari doesn't. And so I think these models, colour-wise, are definitely a lot more accurate. Um, so more of a khaki gr uh, green. I noticed as well on the internet or do some research is their prototypes actually more or less have the right colours. The only thing was the buffer beams were red. But uh, with a small paint job like Stepney, they could have uh, easily been black, and they probably, and again, they could have been Hornby's most perfect models. Uh, last uh, December, I was in Milton Keynes, and in Milton Keynes, there's a shop called Hawkins Bazaar, and uh, I managed to get this uh, diesel shunter. I paid about I think tw yeah twenty seven pounds for this one, so um, cheaper than diesel, but a bit more expensive than one of one of them. Um, this is again is a very good model, very good runner, and I just wanted to share that with you. Harry and Bert both run very, very well indeed. Um, I'd say between them, um, Harry's the best runner of the two, two of them. Um, Bert's a bit slow, and Bert and say, but they I say they do run really well. Um, another thing I'll add is that they have uh, traction tyres. So you can see their traction tyres. Uh, say this again got tractor tyres. Another thing you'll notice is that they don't say underneath them the year that they were actually built um, and that's the first really because all the other Hornby models have them and uh, as you can see diesel has no traction tyres for some odd reason. All three of them have the same uh, chassis more or less despite obviously not all having the year in it on them but they are more or less the same chassis um, Thomas and Duck and uh, Hornby Toby, if I'm not mistaken, all use the um, same chassis as well. Um, now to score these models. Uh, Diesel, I think I can safely give a 10 out of 10. It's a great uh, characteristic. Um, Harry and Bert, I don't think I can quite give a 10 out of 10. Um, but I do prefer them to the Batman ones, because like I said, the Batman ones look too nice. And so although these... Um, like faces make them look far too nice um, and the faces here although they don't make them look I wouldn't say evil they, they certainly don't make them look uh, like so again like softies as Dennis the Menace would call them um, so I think I'm going to give them an 8.5 out of 10
for Ari and Bert. Thank you very much for watching. Our next review will be on the Hornby Emily. Um, again, this was thanks to Bill and Ben fan foreseen on Twitter. Um, he, it was him who suggested that I do Emily. Is that apparently according to him, there's not many uh, reviews on Emily on a uh, YouTube. And uh, I do admit from personal experience, this is quite true. Um, so he said, my next review will be on Hornby Emily. Um, once again, big thank you to everyone that's watched, uh, commented, it, and subscribed. I do enjoy making these videos in, in my free time. It's always nice to have a, good, um, a response. And the, the views that I give are always honest. And even if the engines like uh, Edward have a sentimental reason, like being bought as a present, I always 100% give my um, honest opinion, whether it's a sentimental one or not. So I'm always uh, honest, um, and it's always nice to hear other people's opinions on models as well. So thank you very much uh, to everybody in any shape or form.